Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgoofer out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in turn somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgoofer? I haven't seen one since I was a child. And what else? There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. I forgot there was another one uh, in the other side. Completed some new blueprints. I think you'll find them useful. I'm here for you. What do you mean blueprints? Let me upgrade this. I'll disinfect my tools. Oh, wait, 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 I need to get the How resurrection can I help? stone. Whatever you need, whenever you need it. I've always wondered, why was Freyr so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freyr was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time. You tell. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost Light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. Wait. Let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half Gufa. <laughs> Ah, oh, it looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. What the fuck? Was that the jellyfish? Ah! That was like some kind of carnivore creature or something. A beast. They're right next to me. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. I want to know, who the fuck gave us these dogs? These dogs just came out of nowhere and, like, allow us to, like, to use them. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. People look out for a cave! Is this a cave? The other hop goofa must be under there! Where? I see an entrance! <laughs> is it here? Hey, this is a cave. I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this half goofa is free. <laughs> don't, don't fucking jinx it like he's gonna die or something. This architecture, it is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it, built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. <laughs> 
Uh, are we? Oh, wait. Maybe it is. Fuck, there's so many places. Ooh. Over here. Oh, okay, it's a stone wall. Blocked. Could I reach it from down here? What? Down here. Can we go down? What the fuck is that? Drop. High material, sonic. Oh. This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. It's, like it's alive or something, you know? This is fucking disturbing. Holy shit. Drop. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive metal. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let me go back. Can I go down? Look like I go down. No, I thought I could go down. Oh wait. Can I go down there? Yeah, I could go down there. We're not gonna talk about the light elves or like the main More bad guy high, here. But denser. Uh can you do something about this? Too thick for that. Sonic boom? No way. Maybe the twilight stone on the ground will oh. help. I forgot about these. Ooh. Well, there you go. I don't like about this. Enemies to your left! Oh! Run! Just a little, little oh, there's more? What do you mean? Oh! Cover! We bastards are about to explode! <laughs> we bastards are about to explode! Oh, Enemies oh. to your left! Wait, what? Oh. Wait, is there a hive here? Find you, incoming! Yeah, shit, I didn't know.
Like the light off. Oh, there is. What the fuck? Where did you came from? There we go. Light elves don't often travel underneath the barons, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nelfheim. Or so it appears. Big Veer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Wait, sacrifice? No sacrifice in vain. A corpse low below, uh, a corpse laid below this one. I wonder if the poor soul wrote it before expiring. Or if it was written by the friend or, or the fiend who caused it said exper uh, expertation. <clears throat> now then, where the fuck is this fucking jellyfish? Fuck. Where is that crystal? No. Fuck, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. Jellyfish is being kept. We're not even sure. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Jellyfish? Where the fuck are you? Holy fuck. How far down this is this jellyfish is at? Holy fuck! What the fuck are you want to come at me, huh? Poison at your back! Yeah, get, get him down there. Goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. 
the skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. Shit at me, where, where the fuck do I get that? Fuck. Okay, I think we're close to it, but before that, I need to know how to fucking get that shit. I need to know how to destroy that. There has to be something here. Just to wait, you fucking piece of shit, I will get you one day. Do I get that? How the fuck did I destroy that? Where the fuck is there a crystal? There has to be a crystal here. Oh, wait, wait, I see, I see, I see it now. There we go. Golden chest. Yeah, I want to kill that fucking piece of shit. Oh. Light runic. What do you do? Nah, I don't want that. Fuck, hey, notice, hey, notice, hey, notice. No, you're too stupid. You're too stupid to know. Come on, come out. I better back up there. Okay. There we go, you saw your bitch. Shadow ruin. To comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hothgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance, I know what choice I how the fuck do I get that? There's some twilight stone. Oh, I didn't see that. Ah, it's complicated than I thought. Holy shit! Blends in! Fuck! Hey, it looked like it! I, I, I thought it, I thought it what it was. I forgot that they like look like that, like some like human skin. There we go. Well done. Time to set it loose. Hi, back to the surface then. You want us to go all the way back? Wait, is there, yeah, there's a shortcut. I knew it was too easy. Oh, I fucking knew it was you or something. Find you, watch out! Oh! <laughs> 
Is this a heavy? Fuck it, finally! I have one for this one now! They're like fucking rare to find! Wait, am I going outside already? No, I can't be. The fate of these creatures reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. She died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. Oh my god. They, they know his stories are like not not friendly. Hey, he was talking about Pandora. Holy shit. Man, what, where the fuck will you go? Like, I hit you. Oh, this way I go. Right now, let's get the fuck out of here. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our fight. What? Again. Oh, what the fuck? so brutal when he does that. Holy shit. <laughs> so where did I free it? I, I, I don't know. I can barely fucking see. That's a problem here. Uh... It has to be that, isn't it? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Get my 
majesty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. actually died? No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Fuck! They actually fucking died, but they lay little tiny babies all over- holy shit, there's a fucking million of them. Holy fuck. Holy shit! <laughs> holy fuck! I did not know they were gonna lay that much. Holy fuck. They're like fucking stars. Holy shit. I thought they were like, yeah, gonna have a, like, I don't know. I didn't thought they were gonna like, actually lay, like, lay babies now, now, but I thought it was like, it's gonna be some time. Holy fuck. It's like they sacrifice, not like, yeah, they kind of sacrifice, but like, I don't know, like the babies are made of them. Like they, they, they just turn to dust and those dust turn to the babies. Holy shit. <laughs>